what's he doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm going to be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches for forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the war games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announce war games without me. That's my thing. I announce war games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me. Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right after all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of, let's have a war games match at Survivor Series? and didn't even put me in the match. But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? 
Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, at least the ones who thought they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The Women's World Champion is the real winner here. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Man. Wow, running leg drop, Bulldog. Great ups. My goodness, that'll stop anyone. Uh-oh. Oh, no. From behind. Oh, boy. Reverse choke slam. Right in the face. The usually prepared Bailey didn't look like she was expecting that move. Oh. A quick reversal by Bailey. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? What a pump kick. And Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey looks to be well measured right now. Look out! Tombstone pile driver. That was the most dangerous position for any competitor to ever be in. You gotta hope there was no irreparable damage done. What now? Oh yikes! A stomp to the guts. Dodged right on cue. Fall off with an elbow. On the shoulders and a slam. Bailey avoids the assault. So precise with the super kick. We're about to see. Good night. What a stunner. Does that finish Bailey off? the cover an incredible victory for the captain here tonight she certainly solidified her position as the number one contender Johnson from behind with that crutch what the heck she claimed she was injured she was just pulling all our legs Cole Shotzi laying the boots in now compared to the tank this is nothing Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Oh. Leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world. Come home. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my... Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That 
does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm... Who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, Becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of.